Hey guys, this is Zach, chef at Dogfish Head Brewings and Eats in Rehoboth Beach. I hope you guys are staying safe and taking care of yourself. I'm just gonna show you a little bit what we're having for dinner tonight. Here's what you'll need to make dinner tonight. A little bit of beef mix, beef veal pork, onion, a little bit of garlic. I had tomato sauce that I made earlier and I pulled it out of the freezer. And of course, a beer. Heat your pan up on medium. About two tablespoons of olive oil. Once your pot's hot, add the onion and garlic. You want to season it with a little salt and pepper. While you're waiting for the vegetables to sweat, don't forget to take a sit. Now that we have the garlic and onions where they need to be, I'm going to pull them out and set them aside. Add your beef mixture. Don't forget to season it. A little more salt, a little more pepper. Once the beef is cooked, you're going to drain off all that fat. Now that the fat's gone, add the onion and garlic mixture back. It's important to remember to stay hydrated. I like to deglaze with a little bit of red wine, about a cup and a half or so, and then turn it all the way down to low. This is when we can fold in our tomato sauce. Cover, cover your pot with a lid and let it do its thing. Now I'm going to make a little bit of pasta, roughly two cups of flour, one whole egg, one egg yolk, about a tablespoon of olive oil and a little bit of salt. This you're gonna to wanna to work it all together and knead it. Once your dough is kneaded, you wanna wrap it up in plastic wrap. You wanna leave that out about room temperature, half hour to an hour or so, before you try to roll it. After all that kneading, I'm sure you're thirsty again. Enjoy. My favorite part about cooking, dishes. Now that the dough's had enough time to rest, you can feel it's very nice and soft. Just dust the cutting board. I was looking through all my tools, and of course, the one thing I don't have is a rolling pin here. So, a bottle of wine will do. While you're rolling out your pasta, you want to get a pot of water on, add enough salt to it so it tastes like nice salty water. Dump it back over, let's check on our sauce. Finally, the pasta is nice and rolled out to the thickness that I want. We're going to fold it three times. Make sure that it's nicely floured. Flip it over, and then we're gonna cut the thickness that we want. I do wanna give a shout out to my sous chef today, Biggie. Hey bud, say hello. And our co-sous co chef, Matilda. Hey. One of the most important things is to make sure you're tasting this all the way through. Um, I've been tasting it every hour. Um, it's been cooking for about two hours now. Delicious. Water's boiling, perfect time to put it in. Fresh, cot, fresh pasta is going to cook super quick, so one to two minutes or until it starts floating. Pasta's done, let's drain her. Quick little plate up, a little bit of parma over the top of it. That's that. Call it a day. I gotta hope you guys are staying safe. Hopefully you guys are uh, inspired to cook at home a little bit. Thank you guys very much. Can't wait to see you guys back at the pub when we're open. Take care.